<laughs> it's good to see you again. Down. Oh, first patient's coming out because the second one showed up. And I, see, I think it's going to come out with a low thub. Because Blizzard gets locked out. Nova's forced. The second one, that is. Flame Strike gets locked down. Yeah. If he wants to go for that, it's definitely possible. He's going to go for the... Is he going to dump some of his hand in this with the Whirlwind? Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, That's he was almost full on cards. And he's getting a lot of armor. He had a lot of armor already. I wonder what's the thre threshold. Oh, there is Antonidas. Is there a threshold of armor where the mage cannot win anymore? Well... Well, right now would be it. I mean, I, I, th that's the problem, I think. And it, that has more to do, I think, with the, the fact that this is a Reno deck where you don't start with double fireball, you don't have pyroblast. So the threshold is even lower than it otherwise would be. And look at this. Like, if he wants to remove this board, he has to go with some like blood. More armor to your opponent. Um, Getting some more and cards. And a lot more, in fact. The thing is, the amount of card that Jab just gave himself, that's uh, not negligible at all. There is uh, there is Thorison at Antonidas, so it looks all right. But I, I I like the fact that Jab is keeping the Inner Rage in his hand as an activator for Execute. Yeah, Grom, Execute, name it. You have something to... <laughs> oh, man, even more armor. Yeah, I think this Thorison is going to hit all the good cards, though, because we're starting to get at the bottom of the deck for San Sivka. Not quite there, but this Downos will draw another card. Okay, so for Stan Sivka, you do Antonidas, you do Frost Nova, Coin, Icelands, get Fireballs. Antonidas dies because there are ways to, to kill him with Slam and Execute, Inner Rage, Execute. You expect it to die, yeah. Absolutely. You expect it to die. And you, got how, you get how many Fireballs? Four new Fireballs. One, yeah, you get four, uh, yeah, three new Fireballs from this, right? Three Fireballs. Yeah. And then you can play Torison. But it's uh, it's just five five fireballs in your in your deck, which is just the armor count that the warrior has right now. So already it might be too late. You will have to count fatigue in as well. The warrior fatiguing himself to take damage. You have to hope that he does. Oh, with this point. with Thorison being played first, you actually will get more fireballs. Yeah, you will absolutely. If you throw the archmage first, you you'll get it to die. Um, whereas right now you can get the uh, ice lances for free. Oh, <laughs> Vitality Totem! <laughs> that is bad news! Stan will have to do something with it. Oh my god, unbelievable. <laughs> it's worse than an armor smith! Like, you intentionally put Alex in your deck to deal with stuff like this. And it got gets... Um Resistant. Maybe, maybe you have to go for Archmage now. I mean, this is the perfect Frostbolt target, even though it. Stan Sivka is really focused. There's so much math going on in here. Who will fatigue first? Well, so the Reno is really the big uh, factor here because it gives Stan Sivka a second wave of uh, healing. But the thing is, he has to be very cautious because if Jab does exactly what he did last time, he can put him at one health and let fatigue take care of it. Yeah, but even even one health might not matter. Like if fatigue goes to to three or four, that will also break the ice block. True. Oh man, armor smith. Yeah. And Lotha. This might be the turn where. Oh wow, more armor if you How? wanted. The thing is, you don't want to commit more to this board in case disasters happen. I mean, you know the the hand, you know the deck by by now. Uh, you've seen all the cards last game. Yeah, but still. Will there be a good way to deal with Reno? That's kind of what we brought up earlier, right? Like, if the fireballs are used as removal, say, on Grom, um, then all of a sudden, Stensive Call, he's got to do is... And this is why Echo would be fun with Reno. It's like, Reno, Echo, all right, try it. Stensive is really running out of damage. Lothab is going to lock down the turn from Stan, which means uh, Jab will get a good Grom next turn. Yeah. And the d explosive sheep will double dip in the armor gain, but it will kill the armor smith in the process. It's really tough. How much damage is there incoming? That's um, there's only 14 from nine, Grom. 19 well, actually with the with Lothab, right? But Lothab is dead. Okay. No, no, she's dead. Yeah, well, sh he's dead. Well, he, she's. Yeah, Reno wins. Reno just straight up wins the game. Well, not quite yet. That that is really. I mean, it will not die. Yeah, it's not dying. But just fatigue now. damage is really annoying, and the uh, Jab can just wait. 
Jabkin waited out, but this little uh, mad scientist is kind of pesky. So what happens is what uh, Jab's going to try to do is put Stansivka exactly where he dies from fatigue. So right now, Stansivka being at 18. <laughs> Correct. So don't ping your face, Stansivka. Don't. The genius play was actually a completely inane play with no reason to be made Pink whatsoever. Face yeah. was default. <laughs> Reno Jackson is actually... You have to play Reno Jackson because um, you're dead if you don't. Oh, no! Is he thinking about pinging his face? Because Maybe he's going to fireball himself. And then he dies to the death by it. He, right, so he we're actually gonna... realized what you realized, which <laughs> I, I would have probably just killed myself in this spot. <laughs> Zap the casters. Well, the caster. <laughs> You're doing a good job, Maxis. Oh, okay. Man. But still, Reno Jackson. It's you a 4 6, man. You still just wait. I mean, it wins. Like, there's no way that Jab can kill Reno unless he uses Grom for it. Yeah, which but means Stensive Cuss is going to punch him to death. Um, but. He's still not dead. With double fireball, how much damage is, is there next turn? 12, 16, so, 17, right. 18. So there's 5 with fatigue. So there's 17, One off lethal 19, with the ping, he wins. 23, 24. With the ping, he wins. Yeah, with the ping, he, he has lethal on yeah. board for next turn. With double fireball. If Jab counted fireballs correctly, there's even, even if he armors up, he's just dead. So... What is the, the the winning play here? Is there one? Grom attack the scientist, punch face for ten, and then lose the game. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, you no. I was gonna say you could kill the the four six, but you still die. Actually, wait. He's no, he's die. He he he's die. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, twenty four. <laughs> oh man, Reno this Jackson. Game, <laughs> Reno Jackson actually punching face. Who would have known? Oh wait, he he missed the five damage. He miscounted. That 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 was a mistake. Oh wait, and and now how much damage is there with Grom? I think that that's it now because he actually gets fourteen Stansivka, in. Stansivka Does he take seven? Six? What? No, please don't take seven that's from not, this, Stan. That's not seven, right? Please no. That it, will be six. I hope it's not. I truly, dearly hope it's not. Let it not be seven, or I will cry. I think it's six because he I was one turn six. ahead. Yeah, it is I six. I think it's six. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> I had That was close. <laughs> that was... Was oh. that BM? Was that BM? Extended BM. Like <laughs> there is no misplay. It's just extended BM. Oh, my God. Stansivka does take the win over Jab, they which actually puts Jab... On 1-2 score. Yeah, 1-2, and Stansivka goes up to 1-1. One, one.